Good morning. Day 327. Cooking down the refrigerator, freezer, and working pantry meals. Well, my refrigerator is just loaded with leftovers in food pantry food and markdown food. So I need to work on that. So once I get a couple meals out of the refrigerator and in my stomach, it'll look much better. I don't like when my refrigerator is that full anymore. And then my freezer has a bunch of meat in it from the food pantry. So I need to get that over to my daughter's house because now my freezer is looking pretty packed again. <laughs> well, today it's going to be a high of 38. Right now it's not doing much of anything, except it's chilly. Not terrible. You know, it's not like we have a winter gale going on. But it's definitely turned. The weather has turned to the cold. So goodbye summer, goodbye fall, and hello winter. So it's a time for candles and cozy hot drinks and warm fuzzy socks and warm fuzzy sweaters. So I guess we need to make the best of it. The only other thing we can do is move somewhere where the weather is perfect and I don't know where that is. If you know, leave me a comment below and I'll consider it. Anyway, today is going to be a slow living day. I'm just going to pick up things, I'm not going to get into any big decluttering projects or anything like that. I want to straighten things up first. As usual, my kitchen table is a mess and I have laundry to put away. Still haven't heard from Bob the repairman. I was thinking he was going to call me this past week, but he didn't. So I'm going to give him a call this week and see what's what, and then make a, an informed decision on what I'm going to do. So it's okay. I don't have a lot of laundry to wash. I just have a lot of laundry to put away. I did a load at my daughter's house. She lives like five minutes from here. And then I can bring it home and dry it, but I don't want to keep doing that because she has enough laundry to do. So, anyway, today is going to be a slow day. I'm taking the weekend off from a lot of cooking and cleaning and just sort of making my house in order. So that's the plan for today. What plans do you have for this weekend? Anything in particular or just kind of hanging out like I'm going to be doing? Alright, leave me a comment below and I will meet you at the refrigerator a little later after I enjoy my coffee. Okay, let's have some brunch. Today's Sunday and it's October 13th and I have 38 days left in this challenge until it's a year where I've been doing this cooking down the refrigerator, freezer, and working pantry. Now I've gotten mostly produce during this time. A few things here and there, but not stocking up my refrigerator and freezer. But I, I did go to the food bank yesterday. Uh, if you didn't see that video, or it was the day before, it was the day before it was Friday. So my refrigerator is just packed with leftovers 
and things from the food pantry. So, that's kind of going a little backwards. But anyway, let's take a look and see what's in here and see what my meal ideas are for today. All right, well, yesterday I got all those mushrooms and I dehydrated the sliced ones, but these are the whole ones. So I've got those to choose from. Back there, I have my mashed potatoes that I rescued. Uh, those are from the food bank. These were 75 cents for two uh, 12 ounce packages and they were still in nice shape. So I put them in a paper bag to keep them from getting mushy. I still have a little bit of this um, walnut pate. I still have a little bit of, well, more than a little bit of crema, but I still have enough um, nacho things to make some nachos. But I think I'll eat those a little later, maybe, if I'm hungry. I still have some avocado bread that I didn't freeze, but I have so much to eat, I think I'm going to freeze this too. So I have these three chicken nuggets that I made the other day. I think I'm going to have those. And I have a roll here. I think I'm going to have that. And I'm going to have some, oh, I think I'll have this toasted garlic mayo on there. Just keep it simple. These tomatoes I got from a, a flash food box with, that had tomatoes and avocados in it. This is from the food bank. This yogurt is from the food bank. Um, let's see down here. Okay, now these are my grapes that were 99 cents a pound. So I'm just going to eat those. This is leftover. Oh, this is the um, nacho meat, not meat. Then here I have my mushroom gravy I made yesterday. I have my one uh, meatloaf, and I'll probably end up having the gravy and meatloaf and the mashed potatoes for dinner. Um, I still have guacamole for the nachos. I still have quite a bit of pico de gallo and I ended up adding uh, another tomato to it because it was too heavy on the onions. I still have my uh, homemade pickles. I still back there have my avocado pudding and I need to eat this yogurt and make some new today. So that's what I'm going to have for meals today. Uh, the meatloaf and the gravy and I'll make some frozen veggie with that and uh, my beverages will be this iced tea herbal iced tea so uh, I don't need to cook for a couple days which is nice all right so this is what I want to get out today though for breakfast too yes I'm going to have whipped cream and over here I still have my morning coffee I have half a cup I'm going to have that and I'm going to have half of this peach pie that I also got from the food bank. So that sounds really good this morning and I may even eat that before I eat my sandwich. Now I don't have a big sweet tooth but I love peach pie. 
So, okay. I will meet you at the stove. Okay, I have my chicken, not chicken, and my roll in the air fryer. And then here, oops, here are my dehydrated mushrooms. These were all the ones that were sliced, that's four packages. So this is good for storage now. And uh, I can make that into a powder, or I can soak them, make them into a soup, put them in a soup, all kinds of different things. And I'm having half of the pie. My coffee is heated up. just having a relaxing day today. I'm having a whole relaxing weekend. And I am going to heat up my pie just a little bit, but in fact I'm going to eat it before my chicken is done. So I'm just going to heat this up for like 30 seconds. Coffee is steaming. Cheers. Oh, that's good on a day like today. Um, actually, I just looked outside. The sun's coming out, but it's still cold. So that should be enough for the pie. I don't want it too hot. Yes, perfect. Okay, so if you want pie for breakfast, have pie for breakfast. And I cannot have pie without whipped cream. And did you know, you probably already know this, but you should always rinse the tip so it doesn't get moldy. Just an FYI. And sounds like my chicken is done. So let's give the pie a taste. I'm going to have pie in a, quite a while. But this morning, I'm in the mood for pie. Mmm. Very good. Okay, I'm going to make my sandwich and eat my pie, and then I'll be back. Okay, so if you have leftover chicken nuggets, Put them on a sandwich. You can put cheese on it and lettuce and I'm just going to eat it with the mayonnaise. Alright, so here is my yummy breakfast. The whipped cream is melting, the chicken sandwich. So that's breakfast for today. Eating what I have left. Alright, okay there. so for dinner tonight I'm just having a repeat of yesterday, except I'm going to have some green beans instead of corn, because that's what I had open in the freezer. So I'm just going to add some butter to the green beans, just salt and pepper, keeping it simple today. And then I'm going to have the mashed potatoes from the food bank. And they've solid, they've become solidified again because I cooked them in the microwave for like seven minutes. And I really think, I really think these are instant mashed potatoes, but I'm not sure because they thickened up after I cook them and cooked them in the microwave just like the instant mashed potatoes do. But I'm not sure. So 
Don't quote me on that. Then I have the last of my little mini meatloafs that I got from the uh, freezer. So there's another thing gone from the freezer. Alright. And I'm not super hungry today because I ended up around 2 o'clock I ate the rest of my uh, nachos so that's gone so I finished up those leftovers so getting back to cleaning up my refrigerator cleaning out all the food all right and then I have my homemade mushroom gravy from yesterday and there's still quite a bit left. So I'm going to put that on my potatoes and on the meatloaf. See, there's quite a bit left. And um, I don't know, I may end up freezing some of this, but we'll see. Sometimes gravy isn't too great when it's frozen. But I don't know. We'll have to try. So, easy peasy dinner tonight. This weekend I really didn't do anything. I just cleaned up some, put some things away. That's all. No big projects. And I'm making some more yogurt. I just finished that, and that'll be in the... Um, instant pot until tomorrow morning. So I'm going to heat this up and I'll be back. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Got my meatloaf with gravy, mashed potatoes and gravy, and green beans. Alright, well this is going to be a short video today. Um, I don't have too much to talk about. So, um, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.